I'm a student at Malongoshi University, a second year student at Malongoshi University, who, who has also been affected by this um, so-called policy. Otherwise, I wouldn't even call it that. I would call it a daytime robbery. Because this is robbery, guys. It is pure robbery because um, this recent um, results that came out, I, I didn't owe the school any, any, any uh, balance. So as I checked my student portal, I even saw my results. Then a few days later, a friend of mine called me saying, have you seen the balance that is appearing on your, on your portal? There is a certain balance that has appeared. So I thought that it was only for surcharge, of which surcharge I, I had already paid. But again, only to come and find that I, I was owing the school an amount that was probably 4,000. My friend was owing them, I don't know, 6,000. And we didn't even know where it was coming from. So I tried to contact the, the accounts. Only for one hour, I, one hour I was trying to contact them. And after that, they, they answered. They, they answered the call. And then I caught, they said that you are supposed to pay the balance for you to see your results. When I asked them why, because I've already cleared my, my balance already. And then he goes to say, if you did four courses in your first semester, in your first year, first semester, you are being built as if you did five courses of which that wasn't even making sense because we if you did the calculation if you did the math one course was one course is 2285 times four because i was taking four courses first semester and others were taking three others were taking five but still there even those that were taking five have already been built i don't know they, they were built eleven thousand, but again they have been built i don't know extra two thousand to the number of courses you're taking and for four courses you pay 9,180 and for five courses you pay 11,475 but apparently the university has been billing us according has been billing us as if we had five courses regardless of whether you had two courses three courses or four courses which is highly unfair when you try and ask them about this they'll I tried to talk to, to the accountant and he said it's because they have a new policy that was introduced recently. But I asked him to say, if the policy was introduced recently, why is it affecting things that were done in the old policy? Because for me, the semester that's been affected is the first year, first semester, even though I'm in my second year, second semester. So the type of explanation they're giving us is not making sense. And the fact that there's no memo released, there's nothing that can back up that information is really, really stressing us and our parents please please help us uh, i'm a student at Molongoshi university and i'm here to complain about what the school is doing to us um we, we are being charged extra amounts for our tuition fees we don't even know where it's coming from um for those that are taking four courses are uh, supposed to be paying nine thousand one hundred and eighty quarter because they last told us the course was supposed to pay two thousand two hundred and ninety five quarter so if you're taking four courses they're supposed to pay 9,180 quarter, but now we are being billed, for those that are taking four courses, are being billed for five courses. Some of them that are taking three courses are being billed for four courses. We don't know why they are doing this stuff, but as, as, as our students, we are being inconvenienced. Our parents are being inconvenienced. For self-sponsored students, we are supposed to start preparing for the next semester, but we don't know how we are going to even prepare because of this inconvenience. I beg, please, Papa Pacha, Talomba Mutung, we want that you help us. Please hear our cry.